You know, Don Marcus was a playwright, and he was a columnist and a poet. He was too busy to do interviews. So he would send me up to do interviews, too. I was doing his job. So I found a rather creative way to carry this out. Case in point. Boss, I went and interviewed the mummy of the Egyptian pharaoh in the Metropolitan Museum, as you bade me to do. What ho, my regal leather face, says I. Greetings, little scatter-footed scarab, says he. Kingly has been, says I. What was your ambition when you had any? Insignificant and journalistic little insect, said the royal crackling. In my tender prime, I was too dignified to have anything as vulgar as ambition. We rara boys in the seti set used to spend our time feeding the ibexes and ordering pyramids sent home to try on. But if I had my life to live over again, I would give dignity the royal raz and hire myself out to work in a brewery. Old Tanantari, says I. I detect in your speech the overtones of melancholy. Yes, I am sad, said the majestic mackerel. I am as sad as the song of the Sudanese jackal who is wailing for the blood-red moon he cannot reach and rip. And what are you brooding with such a wistful wishfulness there in the silences? Confide in me, your imperial pretzel, says I. I brood on beer, my scampering whiffle snoot. On beer, says he. My sympathies are with your royal dryness, says I. Little pest, says he. You must be respectful in the presence of a mighty desolation. Little Archie, 40 centuries of thirst look down upon you. Oh, by Isis and by Osiris, said the princely raisin, by Pish and Patash, and Patah, by the sacred books Perembru and all the gods who rule, from the upper cataract of the Nile to the delta of the duodenum. <gasps> I am dry. I am as dry as the next morning mouth of a dissipated desert, as dry as the hooves of the camels of Timbuktu. Little fuzzy face, I am as dry as the heart of a sandstorm at high noon in hell. I have been lying here and there for 4,000 years with silicon in my esophagus and gravel in my gizzard, thinking, 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 thinking of beer. <laughs> Divine drought, says I. Imperial fritter, continue to think. There is no law against that in this country, old salt codfish. Not if you keep quiet about it. Not yet. What country is this? Asked the poor prune. Your reverend juicelessness. This is a beerless country, says I. Well, well. My political opponents always said I would wind up in hell. <laughs> it seems they had the right dope. And with those hopeless words, the unfortunate residuum gave a great cough of despair and turned to dust and debris just right in front of my face. It being the only time I ever actually saw anybody put the cough into sarcophagus. Oh, 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 no, no, sorry. <laughs> I guess it's time to bring back Mehitabel. 